Shalom. It's time to raise our hands unto heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Almighty and praise him evermore, people, for he is the roaring lion of Zion who's roaring as softly as a kit, little itty bitty kitty soft as purr. For it's not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love that shall accomplish all things for the kingdom age ahead. And know that fear is the total opposite of love. To fear is not to love. To embrace our worst fears is to become faithless, believing that he who is our loving father has done anything in our lives that has not worked together for good for all those called according to his love and his purposes thereof, as Romans 8.28 says. So in this uh, hour of Christ's greatest love's fantastic power that he will use to pour over all the nations, just as Acts 2 and Joel uh, 2 said would happen in the latter days, that God would pour out his spirit of love upon all people. And so therefore, know that uh, the only conclusion I can come to about why this channel has been abandoned, even though I'm lifting up the resurrected Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the earth. Uh, some things don't change. There's vipers and Pharisees and random beasts of uh, the world all the time. So know that fear is the only God with a small g of anyone who shall relentlessly be attacking this channel of the Lord's highest praise is ever heard in modern days. And there is no doubt about that. And so anyone attacking the Holy Spirit and the love produced here. The Lord says, I got a big pie for your eye. And it is in preparation of his most perfect peace, the message of Malachi 3, 1. That is the kingdom age new covenant of Jeremiah. That is the most precious treasure of excellence that our excellence of treasure has ever given us because he is the only priceless pearl of great reward. So the Lord says unto one and all people, keeping their love alive as a little child, he says, I am your God, you are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity and I shall never remember it. I write my law and my love upon your hearts, beyond that no one shall ever even need to be taught of me anymore. For all people of Israel and all people of all mankind, as Isaiah 54, 3 says, after they inherit all the born again ones out of that number, that uh, they never even need to be taught of me anymore. For all those who love are born of God and know him, says the Lord in 1 John 4, 7. So know that all people standing against the praise here, their religion is tainted. They are apostate. They are as dry as an empty well. Their faith is tattered. Their tanks are on empty. And ashamed, uh, exceedingly ashamed is our living Lord of love of all such people of fear born uh, in the fieriest pits of hell ablaze. And for them, religion shall only continually be in vain, uh, just as uh, it says that we have had desolate heritages would be the revealing of Isaiah 49, 8. And so in these days, compromise shall be their only escape, and great shall be the shaking all around them, all over the earth, as the wheats and the tares separate, for they can grow no longer together. And so these are the days of the judgment of love, and that must always start with the house of God and his very own people. So know that truth rewards oneness on truth. So please understand and try that anyone truly loving God for himself will also love all that is from him, including all of his people. And for that reason, if we can't love our enemies, uh, whom we can see, we certainly cannot love a, a God of love with unconditional love as he does. And so it's time to re reject the conditionality of uh, his love because it has never been. God would be straight out a bold-faced liar in his word in Jeremiah 31 if, if he says, 
I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it, and if he does. And for that reason, Satan has been removed for 1,000 years in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, because he has been always the accuser of the brethren day and night, according to the book of Joel, before the Lord telling him about all our sins. How could God possibly give a covenant to us saying, I will forget your iniquities and never remember it if Satan's right there reminding him Satan would have made him out to be a liar. So he has been removed for a thousand years. And so understand, I got to stress, I'm going to say it again, that God himself um, will also, we need to love all that's from him, including the following message, the meaning, and the flaming spiritual word of these videos that have been so greatly ignored. And uh, the flames thereof can't scorch anything aside from some very real bitter consciousness and some really hardened hearts, grand beast kind of hearts, and some pretty hard hearts that are uh, too, nut, too tough a nut to even crack. And for the fire of love can't consume anything except for wanting hearts of peacefulness. Such will never again fear the hellish, all-consuming fires of the very worst flames of hell unless they commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let God's light go out within us. There's nothing good about anybody. The Bible says there's no good man, not even one. What's good about us and all who have their love as a child is that it's alive and him living in us because he is love. That is his secret name of Mark 4 for those who really want to know in this hour of the mystery of God, Revelation 10, 7 being over. And so it's time that uh, people come to see that even though they were once burn, um, burning greedily with uh, flames of uh, uh, envy and jealousy, that when things are turned around and that flame becomes love, then it will burn ever so brightly for them. So let everybody count the cost of service unto our Lord of always, our Lord of love. For all those wanting to be victors uh, through our living victory of all that are victorious, we all need to think about the uh, price that must be paid for our salvation and he paid it long ago being slain before the foundation of all earth uh, and for some strong passions of mankind must be subdued for the Lord's approval and people's wills must be brought into captivity but because the shattering of the power of the holy people will shatter the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, it's time to realize even when he's not happy with us, he still loves us and we are still not throwing away our um, everlasting life unless we do let his light go out. It was never to believe people. Who could tell me that? That is the bullshit. Uh, Christianity's bullshit. And the truth is, most of it is great. A lot of it is good, but the bullshit is really stinky. Jesus himself said, uh, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I did this, I did that, I believed, I did this. And he's going to say, that was never good enough. Goodbye. Yeah, I didn't know you. It's because they let his love go out. Being on the wide road of lovelessness, you got to be on the narrow road of love if you really want to shine and reflect his most awesome light. And so in this time, therefore, Jesus is now desiring that his brethren, his brothers of other mothers and all sisters, that we would all try to see that uh, we are not on our own, and nor shall anyone ever find any uh, temptations to resist, since everyone has battles to fight against their very own sinfulness, uh, and that shall always haunt all of us. And Muhammad said that the greatest jihad is against our own wickedness. And know that the um, definition, therefore, of hypocrisy is saying that I love God, 
but showing hatred towards his iconic passion and towards the messenger of his dove of love that I've been reading here. Line by line, precept by precept, would the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm to pull down Jeremiah 110, Haggai 2, 2, to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations that have not been built upon the rock solid truth of the bottomless ocean of his adoration for us that has been concealed all throughout the Bible as his uh, mystery of God that was written of. And as soon as the covenant was given correctly to whom it is correctly addressed, Israel and all mankind, then that straightens out everything and we understand his love is now unconditional and always has been but the problem was in history why this is hard to take people is because early christian followers two thousand years ago they grabbed a hold of all the um, hebrew books all the hebrew prophets and then they said and we are israel israel is not israel this prophecy was for us it's not for israel and it's not for mankind we are all mankind too <laughs> and it was total balderdash, total load of bullshit. And all those who will not praise that which brings the Lord ex exaltation to magnify his overflowing love, now that it is revealed to totally be unconditional for us, all against that the Lord says, I shall take the shit and diarrhea and your dung from your very most solemn feast and I will rub it in your face if you do not exalt my kingdom age covenant that has been given for all mankind as it was foretold in Jeremiah 31 1 for it was written in the latter days the covenant would be given for the Lord God by his spirit says I had only given the words to the covenant but just as I used Moses to give the, the law of uh, law I have used Daniel, my servant, my messenger of Malachi 3, one to give the law of love and the unconditionality thereof. For the Lord God Almighty, he says, as soon as any conditions are placed upon love, any strings attached, then love divine immediately flees away. And if you will read Jeremiah 31, the Lord God says, therein he shall now remove the yoke of spiritual religiosity burden from off all people that desire to shine as the sun. And so in this hour, it's time to realize that rejecting even me is hypocritical if you're a Christian. Because if people believe my false doctrine, because I'm a, a false prophet, they're going to believe in Jesus because that's all that I preach is the risen Lamb of God. I have a written passion of Christ at this channel that is also ignored. So everyone out there, therefore, every follower of our Lord God must now start walking by the faith of love. If our love is dead, so is our faith, a dead letter. Uh, and let us do that while all avoiding the hypocrisy uh, not to let God's greatest light of love to shine brightly for such is a pure abomination unto him and to the hard heartedness of people rejecting this ministry born of heaven's breath upon me open eyed visions uh, so it's time for uh, to realize that hypocrisy is the homage that vi vice pays to virtue uh, and just going to a mosque, a church, or a synagogue has never made anybody a Muslim, a Christian, or uh, any more than a garage makes them a car, as C.S. Lewis once said. So realize that if good fruit now and over the world is not removed from a bowl that, that has gone uh, rotten fruit in it, the fruit, all of the fruit inside will also go bad. And for that reason, the Lord's whispering roar of his Lion of Zion is roaring. It is time for the wheat to grow no more with the tares. It is time for the great falling away commanded of the great white throne. Religion over this earth shall now fall as a house of cards and people will finally start to get along in the sandbox as the prophecy of Micah 4 comes forth. For it is written that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former and the first is last and the last is first. And as it is prophesied by the prophet Micah, they shall walk with their God, they shall walk with their God, and they shall walk with their God in peace, all respecting each other.
other and loving one another. For the greatest revelation of all that I could give in the restoration of all things, quite simply, is that we are angels or demons in the flesh. And any of us that are unloving, that is what we are leaning towards as being demonic. And But praise God, God's arms have never been too short to uh, save. He's outstretching his hands for all of us. And in this hour, he has revealed he alone is the sower of the seed over all the flocks of uh, man. Uh, and he has overtaken his reaper as he arises as all of our good shepherd of blessedness. Amen. Hallelujah. True story. True that.